Hi guys, we are going to be testing for CR3 positive ions in aqueous solution using NaOH and ammonia reagents. If you look at the color of this solution, it is a very beautiful blue green color for CR3 positive ions. Now we take some of this into our test tubes to perform the ion detection tests. Now we will start off the test by addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide dropwise in our solution. So here we are adding a few drops of sodium hydroxide and this results in the formation of a precipitate. This is sort of a grey green color. This is the precipitate that is formed on addition of sodium hydroxide drop wise now we would add sodium hydroxide in excess and as you can see the color becomes darker because the precipitate has dissolved on addition of aqueous ammonia in excess and a green solution has been obtained we can see the test tube right behind the green solution so it is a solution and there is no precipitation left in the tube now we repeat the procedure with aqueous ammonia first we add aqueous ammonia drop wise to our sodium not sodium to our chromium solution CR3 positive ion solution and we see the formation of a green precipitate this is also sort of a grey green green precipitate and then we would add aqueous ammonia in excess so on addition of aqueous ammonia in excess more of the precipitate is being formed because whatever chromium ions were left that did not react with ammonia are now forming a precipitate so on addition of aqueous ammonia in excess the gray green or if you call it green precipitate remains and is insoluble so this is the result of addition of NaOH and ammonia to CR3 positive ions. NaOH gives a green solution, ammonia gives a green precipitate.